this is early, house. but Morgan's rocking out to the uh, intro music here. Welcome back to In the Can 2011 Sundance Film Festival. Morgan Spurlock is with us. Uh, we may as well just get you a place here. I know, right? I should just move in. You're coming back all the We're time. going to move into the studio over there. We've got room. We've got couches everywhere. I know, They're very comfortable. Nice, very I mean, they look very comfortable it's there. It's very We are going to be talking about the film The Devil's Double, and I've had the chance to chat with director Lee Tamahori through the commercial break, and it's been a nice little chat. Thanks for coming yeah, on a little bit. Chat. Yeah, we've been talking about the farm that you live in in New yeah, Zealand and all sorts sure. of nice things. That's right. When I'm unemployable as a film director, I go off and be a, pretend to be a farmer. That's a nice balance. Yeah. Well, I'm not really a farmer. I live on a farm and someone runs it for me, like Russell Crowe has a farm and someone runs it for him. That's a nice way to live. But yeah, it's great. It's a great environment. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a nice departure from the Hollywood life because you've done a lot of well, films in I, your I career. Well, I like it like that. Uh, you know, I like to have uh, a life that's different, separate from the business that we work in, which right. uh, just creates a, a good contrast for living, you know. But it's nice to jump back in and like yeah. be here at the Sundance yeah, Film yeah, Festival. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Did you um, expect to be here? Like you're very no, I never expect to be anywhere. You you, you never know what's going to happen when you make yeah. a film. So it's it's nice, uh, you, but you never know. So. so this film, The Devil's Double, is based on the life yeah. of um, you know. Um, tell me his name. I don't know how to pronounce Latif name. Yahia. Yeah, he, his yeah. last name was giving me trouble. Yeah. So it's based on his life. How were you inspired by his story? He's written three best, you know, great books. Uh, and did you read them and just think, I'm going to make a movie about this? I read them only one. I've only, still have only read one of them. Oh, really? Uh, only, only The Devil's the, the Double. The Devil's Double. Yeah, because it was the only one that was relevant to me. Uh, no, I, I was, I've always been fascinated with um, authoritarian dictatorial regimes um, okay. because of what they do in, you know, Ceausescu in Romania, Mobutu in Zaire, all they are are looters and killers and they usually, and we've just had one in Tunisia that's gone on the run and are now hiding out in Jeddah. Um, they're usually, uh, the pattern is usually very familiar uh, and the Hussein regime, regime is no different. Why it fascinates me is because they usually breed offspring, uh, usually boys, who run out of control. Their sons uh, end up becoming uh, hardcore killers, criminals, looters, because they can do anything they like. There's no law enforcement that can uh, pull them in or mm -hmm. rein them in. They have to be reined in by their fathers, and they usually never are. Right. So it's sort of some, usually like a perverse version of Sonny Corleone in The, in the Godfather, which is what attracted me to this. The, the uh, writer, um, Michael Thomas, who wrote it, wrote a really cracking good script, a very unusual script, uh, and uh, that's what attracted me to it, not the novel that Latif wrote. Oh, okay. So then I read Latif's book uh, on which it's based, and, uh, and so I, I got to understand the story, and I, had, I knew nothing about that, but uh, I thought it was quite fascinating to get inside a story about... Um, it's really a gangster story. Mm -hmm. it's, I thought it was quite intriguing to get inside this this regime we all think we know about from the news, um, but from a from a perspective of an insider, a genuine insider, and because, an insider who mm. didn't agree with the principle. Yeah, an insider who was uh, an opposed, dynamic, if right. you will, to what was going on in there, but had no choice. Mm -hmm. You'll do this or else. You know, right. At the point of a gun. So. So, um, you know, the story, just for the people that may be watching that aren't familiar with it, it's mm. about Saddam Hussein's son yeah. who had a body double. Yeah. And the um, Latif was the body double, and yeah. he's written this book. And so mm -hmm. you um, follow his story. Tell me, what were some of the challenges in... You, you use the same actor for both parts. Yeah, that was the other thing I was attracted to this. The whole, the, it's very implicit in the script that uh, the, the two parts have to be played by the same actor. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I haven't done one of these parent trap type movies. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'd love to do one because they have big technical complexities. Sure. And I quite like those, not to the point of madness, but uh -huh. like, well, let's do one of these. You've got to do one of these in your life. Uh, and uh, it, th that was by far the most fascinating aspect. I always said to anyone involved in this, this film stands or falls and f or succeeds or fails on the strength of the actor that will play this part. If he's believable as two characters, mm -hmm. we've succeeded. If he's not, the film is over. It's dead. It's not going to be in Sunday. So apparently he succeeded. W yes, and, and I'm happy to say that Dominic Cooper uh, uh, is the guy, and uh, he's uh, flawlessly uh, good at this, at this part. And remarkable in yeah. his... 
It's and personal resemblance of exactly. these two. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, very good. We, we, we couldn't believe it when we when we threw the makeup on yeah. uh, and started putting in the prosthetics and the teeth and stuff. It was quite remarkable. Double, and well, we just saw the parent trap yeah, part of that mm -hmm. in action. Yeah. Amazing mm -hmm. that technology allows you to, because it looks a lot better than the parent well, trap. Well, that's actually, <laughs> what you're watching there is just standard old trickery. Uh -huh. uh, the other stuff, the technical stuff comes when you have to put them both in the same frame and they have to shake each other's yeah, hand and do all that stuff. Forth, that's yeah. that. Is where it becomes. What I learned off this is uh, that uh, these movies are usually called twin shot movies, mm. and uh, there's a for obvious reasons. And there's some stuff you do under great at great peril, the, uh, and it's usually physical contact. The same, the one actor cannot grab the other actor mm -hmm. by the arm. Uh, you have to, if you do that, you're going to have to have another person, person there, and then you have to replace their head with, you know, it, uh -huh. it, become, it gets complicated. But if you don't do that, if you do, don't grab the arm, you can actually swap. You can have that act, the one actor play the two parts and spin them around in different ways. But, Very cool. That must yeah. have been a fun thing to yeah, make Yeah, and, uh, and it's a lot of fun for the actor who's doing it if they're mm -hmm. up for it. It's a, quite a tough... Um, challenge for an actor to switch between two roles mm -hmm. like this because like in one that. scene he's playing yeah both and characters. you try and give the you, you you try and do your best by them and give them time to just play one character and then play the other mm -hmm. but sometimes with the pressures of time and stuff it doesn't work out that way and sometimes you're flipping them around really fast wow, that's really and you need someone like Dominic who's actually tech, a very good technical actor as mm -hmm. well, well as an accomplished dramatic uh, dramatically trained actor he loves the technique, and um, so he was able to do that for quite effortlessly and, and enjoy it at the same time. Has uh, Latif seen this film? Do you I don't know. I suspect him? not, because it only we've only recently, if Sundance is the first place, it's, it's actually, believe it or not, I haven't even seen it completely finished. Really? I've seen so it you're going to be seeing it the I've first time it, in yeah, the first screening? Yeah, I've seen screening. it 98% finished, and uh -huh. there was the, uh, just over Christmas and uh, over the new year they were finishing uh, some effects work that mm -hmm. I hadn't even seen. So... Uh, I think very few people have actually seen this this print. So audiences will be seeing it for the first so time I doubt as well as you. Latif has seen it yet. But yeah, he will. He will. Mm. Very mm. cool. Mm. And it's screened the first time uh, Saturday, so tomorrow. Screens first time Saturday, yeah, and uh, they're. Then we're at the whim and the mercy of the audience who <laughs> yes. will either like it or hate it. <laughs> well, I've heard you know great things about it. People yeah. are already talking about it, and yeah. you're an accomplished director already, so. I'm well, sure it's people more, are expecting the best. I'm most happy for Dominic, who has stepped it's kind out of, of his... It's a breakout role for him. It's a breakout role for him. No matter what happens to this film, it's like an extraordinary uh, calling card for him as an actor. Um, no one's ever seen him like this before. Right. We've always seen him do this and that, and a lot of people don't really know who he is. Oh, it's that guy. I saw him here. And all that. Yeah. This time, they won't forget this one. Yeah. This is uh, amazing. Mm, that's great that you made it possible for him. Yeah. Cool. He's a good guy. Well, thank you for coming in. Mm. Good luck tomorrow. Most welcome. Okay. Thanks. All right, so that was a chat with director Lee Tamahori about The Devil's Double, and we'll be back with more in the can right after this.